Going on y'all, JV and Tutu, and you rocking with the film culture. She went up on a spot. I got a bad dream. I got a bad. I got a bad. I do the digital dash. These niggas throwing out sad. That shit be making me laugh. I'm really popping them tags. She wanna fuck on the wall. She wanna fuck on the spot. She wanna fuck. I got guap. All right, what's up, man? So you just rock like one of your very first headliner shows. How does it feel? How does it feel to have that crowd turned up for you? It's cool. It's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time. I, like, I ain't had no support, no nothing. Just me by myself. So I'm saying it's just cool to be able to do that. That I finally got the chance to do that after, you know what I'm saying, a couple years of being on tour with other folks and doing stuff with other folks. I really got the chance to do my own thing. So it's just cool. A blessing. So you just dropped one of your you know, new projects, Kids in Space. How does it feel to finally get more of your music out there, for people to really be in tune to who J-Bands is, to really get to know you as an artist, as a person? How does that feel that the spotlight is on you? It's all about J-Bands right now. I mean, it's, just, it's a blessing. All I can think is God and Darren and Chad. Like, when I met Darren, when I met Darren, he was just telling me that I'm going to have a chance to step out and do my own thing, put my own projects out, and he really believed in me. So now at this point, much later we here, I just dropped my first project. You know what I'm saying? My first solo project for real. So it's just a blessing. I'm just happy. Tired, but happy. It's just cool. I'm, I'm proud. So how does it feel to, you know, you have all your friends here, all your fans here, all your family here. Everybody is here for J-Bands. How does it feel to see that love and support in the room? Man, it's just cool because, like, I ain't did a show in Atlanta in so long. And this one was, like, it was quick. Like, it was short notice. Like, I'm just going to, like, oh, we're going to do a show. Two weeks. You got two weeks to do this. And just to show that people came out supporting me, messing me like a few days after I dropped my project. It's just a blessing, and I'm just happy, man. So now you're back in Atlanta. You've been in that in LA for a very long time. What was that move like? You know, transitioning from a place that you knew was home to going all the way out to LA, a city that's kind of fairly new for you and completely different from Atlanta. Really, I just felt like it was time for me to elevate on a music level and a self level. So I'm like, I gotta get in a different mind zone, keep myself out of trouble. So I just went to LA just to record and get in that, get in a whole new mind space, just to uh, possibly help my music elevate, get to work with more people, more folks, just unlock a new sound. So, like, what was your plans after high school? Like, you know, high school, four years long, everybody like, okay, now you got to make a plan, got to make a decision, you're going to college, what you doing? Like, every day in class, what were you thinking? Like, okay, once 2016 hit, what I'm about to do? What was your, you know, process and mind thought as a high schooler? Man, I didn't know what the hell I was going to do, to be honest, man. My mama, my mama said, man, you got six months, you either got to go to the military, get a job, or an uh, intern or something. The day she said that, it was still, I was still in school. The day she said that, I got mad. I'm like, I'm moving out tomorrow. She's like, where are you going to go? I'm like, I'm going to find out. I just moved out. I was 17, moved out. I'm still going to school and everything, but I just moved out of my mama's house. I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. I'm like, I was already hanging out with like rappers, Lil Yachty, you know what I'm saying, Cardi, K Supreme. They already been rapping. I was already hanging around them. So I'm like, they've like, they been encouraging me to rap. So I'm like, I'm going to do the rap thing. And it just, Yachty put me on a platform so soon. Where I ain't even really, I wasn't, I wasn't even really ready for it. My mindset wise, music wise, or nothing. But it's just a blessing that I had them connections and he put me on that platform, so it worked all in my favor. So was that always the plan going up to be a rapper, to be in the music, or did you just have something else playing? You were like, nah, I'm gonna take a different route. Man, I wanted to go to the NBA, NFL. I got kicked off the basketball team for shooting dice. For real? Yeah, I quit. I got kicked off the team. Got called in school, shooting dice, gambling and shit, money on the ground. Uh, principal come and take the money. He tried to make me run and shit. I'm like, man, I'm not running. Keep. So you ain't even get to keep the bank roll. No, nope, took the bank roll. It was about a, a dub plus, all in one though. So it looked it fat in class. Stupid stuff. Hey, I, I wanted to, I wanted to play basketball though. Every same person, same dream. Anybody from Savannah, anybody from Savannah wanted to play basketball, football, NFL, NBA. So what have you learned from Yachty? You know, you got to be on the road with him. You really got to see like what it takes to like rock a show to do a tour. What are some of the things that he's instilled in you as an artist to make you, you know, become successful? Crowd control, uh, crowd control, saving your money, making your money, putting your friends in positions to make them money, just building an empire like the way Yachty do it. Like his brand so big, like, you know what I'm saying? Just brand marketing and all that i just just me sitting back and watching him because we live together so i'm watching every move just sitting back watching him how he moved taking people just giving the opportunities like he really like you know what i'm saying it's like 
he really blessed everybody around him. So I just learned how to do stuff the right way in the industry, how to stay true to yourself. Just, I really, anything, anything there is to learn, I done watched him do it. He done put me in the forefront so I could see it up close and personal. Instead of just hearing people talk about it, he just showed that as an example, showed that, you know what I'm saying, real leaders. So like a couple years ago when Yadi first came out, he said there was going to be a selling team tape. Are we still going to get the selling team tape? I know it's been a minute, but the fans want it. Is that ever going to happen? Is it ever going to come? I think it is going to be a selling team tape. You know, even we, we, we was doing the selling team tape, but that's when selling team might have been 20 people, 20 rappers, so everybody went on board and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had, I don't know what they had going on, but everybody went on board. So everybody wouldn't really record, turning in the tracks on time and stuff. So it was just a big headache for him. And he came in, it was, it was like his first year in the game, already doing a selling team tape. So it was kind of too early for him to be focusing on everybody else too. So maybe like, you know what I'm saying, everybody doing their own, you know what I'm saying, solo thing too. So when everybody get real strong solo artists, then we can come back as one and do a whole selling team tape. Right, so with the selling team, you got rappers, you got producers, you got people who are just talented all over. How does it feel to see y'all guys' grow from like 2014, 2015, 2016, so now like everybody blowing up, everybody doing their own thing? Hey, this is my DJ, DJ Lab, by the way. Y'all go follow me on all social medias, man. Gang. <laughs> it's just a blessing, like, it's just God, man. Everybody doing something, man. It's just it's a blessing because there's so much other stuff that we could be doing, just like my environment, everything around me. And nobody really let that, you know what I'm saying, let, let them get caught up in that. So it's just a blessing for to see everybody doing something uh, productive for their family and stuff. So how does it feel, you know, to finally be on, to like have the dreams that you've been working so hard for to come true? Like what's some advice that you would give to other kids who are watching this interview, who are sitting in their dorm room, who sitting in their house, mama getting on their nerves, fell in school or whatever. What is some advice you would give to them to be like, hey man, you could be rocking these shows, you could be making these movies, you could be making this money. Like what's some advice you would give to them? Man, just stay focused, man. You can't, you gotta, your mental gotta be strong because it's a long road, it's a journey. So it's gonna be a lot of, like in the industry, any industry, it's a lot of ups and downs. It's times where you hot as ever, it's times where you cold. You gotta keep your mind right, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta have your mental ready, your mind state. Don't get caught up in all the, you know what I'm saying, the flash, the cap, the Instagram stuff. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta do you to this, you know what I'm saying, to this time for you to shine. And you gotta find a team to build with. Once you find a team and you find your sound or your, your purpose, then it's over with. God got a plan for everybody, so, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta execute it. So what's next for J-Bands? You know, we just got the tape, Kids in Space. What are we about to see next? Mo music, we got some movies coming, we got some merch. What can J-Bands fans expect from you in the next couple months? For sure, I got, I, got, I got these shows coming up, New York, L.A., you know what I'm saying? Multiple shows coming up, some merch coming out. Uh, I've been recording, I'm already doing my second project. It's really done, I'm about to go ahead and turn my second project into the label, try to drop that ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Just working, there's a lot coming. Y'all stay tuned, be on the lookout. Oh, my God.